now as usual anybody uh, can tell me my ppt is visible hello hello green visible sir yes green visible hai ppt nahi dikh rahi green visible hai sir ppt is not uh, okay okay now visible okay okay thank you for confirmation yes uh, today we are going to uh, take our uh, taking our the third lectures on uh, construction technique right so in the previous lecture uh, we was seen that the uh, various advance you can see the modern construction technique uh, under water so for example uh, if you want to construct a bridge right then uh, if you want to construct a dam so bridge is uh, constructed across the river for the purpose of uh, transportation right then uh, uh, if you see the component of bridge uh, different components are there but uh, one of the important component is bridge piers so the bridge pier is constructed across the river inside the uh, water so we have to take care uh, in case of uh, uh, construction of that bridge pier so Uh, whatever may be the construction technique uh, we are going to follow we can uh, uh, see all these technique in the incoming slides then uh, another important uh, project in engineering that is dam right so dam is a, a barrier which is constructed across the river for the purpose of uh, uh, supplying water for the irrigations then uh, we can use that water for domestic as well as industrial purpose and uh, to supply that water for uh, uh, hydro power uh, generation right so uh, in case of uh, construction of dam while construction of the dam there is a, a you can say the challenges in front of all civil engineer that is the um, diversion of the water uh, from the uh, construction area so almost all uh, there are certain modern technique we have to follow to divert that water from the construction area uh, so in coming slide we can also uh, learn then uh, docks and harbors docks and harbors are there then uh, in case of the docks and harbors these docks and harbors are constructed at the sea shore so for the purpose of uh, 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 transportation of goods from uh, one nation to another nations so this is docks and harbor that is we can construct their docks and harbors at the sea shore so there is again we have the uh, challenges how to construct the docks and harbor as a yard for the purpose of storage loading and unloading of goods so these are the three important you can see the construction we have to construct uh, across the river these two bridges and dams then docks and harbors at the sea shore then we have the opportunity and challenges in the modern construction technology so opportunity in the form of uh, uh, you can say we have various works uh, so opportunity in the form of you can say uh, we got the job at the site and uh, um, Uh, we face it, faces some challenges challenges may be the construction of dam uh, inside the water then the another thing is that we have to take into consideration while construction of this project in the uh, across the under water that is the money then manpower machinery material and available space so these are the factor which affect the total cost of the construction so uh, next slide so in last lecture we was in that laying of concrete by using trami methods so while uh, construction of the piers we have to use this trami methods and we was seen in the last lectures 
how the trami method is used for underwater constructions there is a funnel you can see here this is funnel right so with the help of this funnel we can pour the water in this trami trami means a pipe a vertical pipe and uh, this is you can say here this is a uh, concrete uh, which is poured uh, through this uh, assembly at the bottom of the uh, river bed or uh, uh, you can say the river bed right so uh, this is the method by which we can use uh, to construct a bridge here across the flow so uh, this is uh, we was completed in the last previous lectures then these are the various uh, machinery which is required to uh, construct that grid here then uh, with the help of this uh, 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 this is the platform for worker then we have the uh, crane to uh, uh, take the loads of this uh, funnel and this is a trami this is a trami trami means a vertical pipe then we have a channel by which the uh, concrete is uh, ready mix concrete is coming from this channel and uh, the concrete is uh, discharged into this funnel and then we can construct our bridge pier so we have used various types of this uh, number of trami so this is 1 2 3 4 4 according to the uh, location of bridge pier across the uh, river so this was also uh, seen in the last lecture then we have to take certain precaution during the concreting by trami method in, uh, in the uh, concreting work uh, in inside the uh, underwater or underwater you can say so uh, these are the uh, certain precautions we should consider uh, while construction of the bridge pier across the water so this is also we was in in the last lecture then the another importance is coffer dam so Uh, the coffer dam is a temporary uh, structure right what is coffer dam coffer dam is itself a temporary structure which is constructed uh, across the flow uh, why this coffer dam will required see suppose uh, this is a particular river the water is coming uh, from the upstream side and if you want to build a dam across this flow across means at an angle of 90 degree to this uh, flow so uh, how we can construct uh, this dam itself suppose this is a length of the dam right this is a length of the dam here we have to provide different spillway number of spillway so these are the uh, as per jaycord dam there are 27 number of spillway then uh, for example uh, from the uh, new construction point of view if you want to construct a new dam across the flow inside the river then um, we have to use such coffer dams there to divert the water what is the main purpose of this coffer dam to divert the water from the construction area so suppose we have to divert this suppose this is a direction of flow this is a direction of flow and if you want to divert this flow from the this is our a uh, construction area this is our uh, construction area right then we have to dry this construction area so with the help of this coffer dam so we have to construct the coffer dam coffer dam is a temporary uh, you can say the soil uh, construction uh, we have to construct as a wall and to divert this water from this area uh, so the water will flow on the upstream of this Uh, a temporary structure so we have to construct a wall on the uh, on uh, this side where the uh, maximum water will flows so as to we keep this area as a dry area so we can uh, uh, construct a dam here so uh, if you see here the temporary enclosure which is built within or in a pier across a body of water now allow the enclosed space to be pumped out creating a dry work environment then coffer dam are usually welded steel structure so sometime we can use as a, a welded steel structure if uh, the flow is maximum uh, from the upstream side then we can use 
such welded steel structure or in the form of uh, uh, a welded uh, you can say the platform there to dry this construction area then for dam construction two copper dams are usually built on upstream side and one uh, this downstream side so uh, this is the a, a, you can say the uh, working principle of the copper dams then uh, in this picture in this diagram you can see here this is the uh, working area where we have to construct a dam and we have to uh, uh, take this uh, area as a dry area so these are the this is the uh, you can say the surface here we have to construct this area uh, as a uh, copper dam so this is this is a barrier which is constructed on upstream of the particular area so this is our actual construction area so uh, and we have diverted this water by construction of this dam copper dam so uh, the design and all the working philosophy of this particular copper dam will depends upon the incoming flow what is the pressure which is acting on this uh, uh, side of this particular um, Uh, side of this uh, copper dam so how much thickness should we provide for this particular copper dam so after uh, construction actual construction of dam so this is actual construction after completing our whole uh, you can say this spillway across this uh, particular dam we have to excavate this particular uh, temporary enclosure copper dam and we have to uh, then uh, dive for the purpose of storage so this is the method we can use for the purpose of uh, diversion of water from the a working area so this is a you can see the function of copper uh, dam then uh, another uh, here the first exercise i would like to share with you the in this first exercise uh, identify the equipment or machinery in the uh figure below so uh, can anybody uh, unmute and tell me uh, the uh, various machinery which is required to construct a copper dam so in this picture you have seen uh, this machinery then this machinery and this assembly and this channel so uh, what is this anybody unmute and tell me Uh, i would uh, like to ask any student at this stage unmute yourself and tell me uh, the uh, various machinery uh, in this particular uh, uh, diagram anybody can tell me sir the black pipe uh, the black assembly uh, see here uh, this one na right that's a trimmy pipe yes yes this is a trimmy pipe right and what is this second this that's a hopper yes funnel or hopper right very funnel. good and uh, this is this is pump of concrete pumping technology yes yes and uh, with the help of this concrete pumping technology the concrete uh, come from the you can say uh, plant yes N- not a plant Uh, there is a tm machine uh, what is tm machine and all these things we can see in the another slide also then uh, this is uh, you can see the jcb at the uh, end of this jcb there is a uh, platform so this is a temporary platform you can use this technique at the construction site so there are uh, you can say in next slide see here machinery for underwater construction we can use a tower hose then crane then concrete pumping then clamp shell then scraper then drag line and trimmy means pipe and multi purpose excavator so these are the uh, you can say the machinery which is required at the construction site then the second exercise identify the equipment or machinery in the following check dam identify the machinery 
in this particular chicken so anybody can tell me or enlist the various equipment or machinery required to construct the check dam so check dam is a uh, you can say the small storage of water which required to store the water for the purpose of uh, irrigation for the purpose of irrigation this is constructed across a small ri uh, river or nala you can say so tell me what are the various equipment or machinery we required one by one so for this small construction which type of equipment or machinery we required only we have to enlist here those machinery so anybody unmute and tell me uh, 3 to 4 equipment which is required for the construction of this particular check dam so i took another 1 uh, minute for this exercise can anybody tell me what are the various machinery we required or equipment to construct this particular check dam now this is a you can see the door or spillway to uh, discharge the extra quantity of water from this area on the downstream side on this particular downstream side so for construction of this area which are the uh, various machinery we required then so uh, if you talk about the machinery then uh, it is very you can say the can any uh, anybody mute with yourself and tell me anybody can talk about this machine hello hello ji sir uh, tell me what are the various equipment or machinery we required generally yes anybody are interested why i am talking about this one because we are the civil engineer and we know the uh, various machinery which is required and uh, the cost of machinery is uh, plays a crucial role or vital role or it plays vital role for the uh, total uh, project uh, cost so if you want to minimize the total project cost we should know the uh, uh, how much uh, which type of equipment or machinery generally be required for construction of these things and what is the you can say the capacity of that uh, working capacity of that machinery in a one day particularly how much meter cube of uh, soil or uh, excavated by the that uh, you can see the jcp per hour so we should know all that things that's why i am asking at this stage you enlist and then tell me so if you want to calculate the total cost of the machinery for a particular construction so how will you calculate it uh, if we, so i will tell you the different machinery and then exercise 3 also identify the equipment or machinery in the following project suppose these are the two first project this are the uh, road project so these are the various machinery which is required uh, right uh, then uh, another this is a tractor then this is a uh, spreader concrete spreader then we required the roller also there are different types of the roller then uh, for uh, construction of flyovers and bridges we required the clamp shield then dredge line then uh, uh, then also pneumatic type uh, sheep foot roller then um, cranes to pick up the uh, heavy loads so different types of machinery we required right so uh, this is the exercise you have to complete at your uh, home uh, take a screenshot of the both exercise this one and uh, Uh, this one also and complete take this uh, two exercise at your home so enlist various machinery and equipment and also uh, write down what is the uh, function of that equipment then necessity of that equipment and the working capacity of the, that equipment and under which circumstances we have to use that uh, you can say the uh, machinery for road project 
the bridge project or uh, flyover. Then, uh, the interestingly, I would like to uh, share with you the construction equipment, right? Now, hauling and transporting materials, right? Then, excavation and earth moving equipment, then, concreting equipment are there, then, material handling erection equipment, then, dewatering and pumping equipment are there. Now, as far as concern with the construction material, such as sand, cement, aggregate, boulders, gravel, bricks, etc., have to be transported from the mine or industry or from the RMC plant or from any suppliers to the construction site. This involves a cost that must be included in the estimate of the project, right? We require various types of vehicles such as truck. Okay. See here. Uh, hauling means transportation, right? Hauling means loading and unloading. Then we require such as a truck, dumper, high wash, etc., etc. Now, the time required by a truck for transportation of material, that is, suppose if you want to transport the material from a, a, any suppliers or from the mine or from any industry. For example, if you want to bring a cement, if you want to bring a aggregate or boulders or gravel from a particular site up to your construction site. So, there is a time required and that time is known as the cycle time, right? So, these are the hauling and transporting materials, right? With the help of this high wash, see here, this is truck or high wash, then this is a PM machine, uh, then this is, you can say, the uh, traveler, uh, uh, with the help of this, we can excavate the materials. So, this is available in various uh, types for uh, ex excavation of materials, then this is a roller for compaction purpose. So, handling and transporting materials is very important. So, for example, this is a uh, uh, truck, right? So, with the help of this truck or high wash, we have to supply the material, uh, for example, we have to supply the uh, material uh, from the, uh, suppose this is a, a point, so this is a mine suppose, uh, uh, or any supplier, and this is your actual site. And if you want to bring this uh, material, material may be the cement, sand, aggregate, uh, gravel, steel, etc., or bricks even, from the point A up to your construction area. So, the cycle time is plays an important role. So, this is your cycle time. Cycle time means uh, at the site you have to uh, loading the materials in this truck and then bring for a particular distance, for example, 30 kilometer is the distance between the suppliers and the mine up to the your construction site. For example, 30 kilometer is distance. So, for traveling this uh, particular uh, material from a, a point to B point, how much uh, cost will require and we are interested to find out that cost and this is known as cycle time. This is known as cycle time. So, in every construction industry, we have to understand the first the cycle time, right? Now, see here, the time required by a truck for transportation of material is divided into the following four elements. We have to load the material into the truck, then haul, haul means transportation, then unload, then empty. So, this is the thing uh, which is required for uh, hauling and transportation of material. Then, time for haul means loading, uh, loading of that material in the truck and then empty. We can empty that uh, material at, at the site. Uh, can be determined from the speed of the vehicle and the distance travelled, right? So, this cycle time, cycle time means that time taken by loading up to the uh, empty at the particular construction site. So, speed 
depending upon the vehicle then traffic congestion then condition of the road and other factors so the speed of the vehicle will depends upon these um, uh, uh, factors then for determining the time for load and unload production rate must be known so what do you mean by this production rate so production rate is defined as the number of unit of work produced by a unit of equipment or a person in a specified unit of time in meter cube per second per hour for example we have a particular equipment for example we have a clam shell for excavation of the uh, foundation or jcp even so how much work that jcp is done within a particular hour in meter cube uh, per hour for uh, earth work excavation so that is known as the production rate then the unit of time is usually 1 hour the production rate will be maximum right when the production rate will be maximum if the work is performed at the same rate during the whole hours right so these are the two sentence is very important in case of the production rate so production rate is inversely proportional to the uh, uh, constant rate of the work during the hour but this is not possible seldom means it is not possible due to the interruption and delays for example a machinery or worker may work only within 45 minutes in one hour for example we have to consider only a actual working hour for a particular hour is only 45 minutes so the actual production rate or efficiency factor is 45 by 60 so only 75% work can done by worker or machine for a particular hour only 45 so uh, we have to calculate the total time then total cost and cost per unit of transportation of sand for example from a point up to b point a point is your a supplier or a mine or the point from where you can transport this sand and this b point is our actual construction site if you want to bring this sand from a to b so how much total cost and the total time which required for transportation of sand from a point to b point so in this case in this example we are going to determine that one so what is our example here suppose here 175 ton of sand with a density of 1.7 meter ton meter cube 1.75 ton meter cube must be transported 7 km using 10 meter cube dump truck so what is the capacity of the truck we have to use 10 meter cube the capacity of a one uh, truck is 10 meter cube right so if you want to uh, transport 175 ton of sand uh, 1.75 ton per meter cube and the distance Uh, for the traveling is uh, 7 kilometers so we required here three work uh, laborers and a driver which will load the truck at a rate of 1.5 meter cube per hour then the haul speed is 30 km per hour haul speed means the speed of the vehicle design speed of the vehicle 30 km per hour and return speed is 40 km per hour it take 3 minute to unload the truck at the actual site the cost of the truck is for a particular day 2546 if you want to hire a truck for a particular day so how much cost it will take to hire the truck for a day so there are you can say i uh, dsr district schedule rate for the aurangabad city 2019 and for 2020 so i am pick up this value from that dsr so one truck will require if you want to hire one truck for a particular day so we consider 7 hours in a day so 2546 per day we we have to pay to hire a one truck so if you want to calculate the rate of that truck for a particular hour so total cost divided by uh, 7 so we will get the 
367.71 per hour. The we have to pay the cost per hour for that particular truck. Then we have to pay the cost for a driver also. So for example, 600 per day we have to pay for a particular driver. And if you want to calculate divided by seven, it will come per hour as 85.71 per hour. And the labor cost is rupees 500 per day. And if you want to calculate uh, per hour, then divided by seven. 71.42 per hour so the actual working time is 45 minute and 1 hour so and we have to determine the total time total cost and the actual cost of transportation of sand so for this uh, particular uh, calculation uh, we have to uh, you can say uh, calculate with the help of uh, problem right so I, i would like to share with you the problems right we have to solve that problem at this stage so what is that problem see here uh, this is our actual problem right and i am going to solve that problem so how much total time and total cost and cost per unit of transportation of sand so these are the uh, you can say the given data and uh, we have to uh, try to solve that particular problem right so first what we have to do we have to calculate the uh, total uh, quantity of work the solution for this is we have to calculate total we have to calculate total quantity of work we have to calculate quantity of work quantity of work right so volume of sand first we have to find the volume of sand right volume of sand so how will you calculate the volume of sand uh, we have to uh, transport 175 ton of sand Uh, by rate of 1.75 meter cube per ton so this is the total uh, sand we have to brought from a distance and what is the rate of that say 1.75 per meter cube so this is the rate so this will be 100 meter cube so we have to uh, transport 100 meter cube of sand from a particular site right so this is the first we have calculated then second parameter we have to calculate the cycle time so how will you calculate the cycle time right cycle time see here load loading time means we have to load the material in the truck so loading time how will you calculate loading time so 10 divided by uh, how much worker will require for uh, the capacity of the um, you can see the truck is 10 meter cube and uh, three worker will required and the worker is working at the rate of 1.5 meter cube per hour so this is meter cube per hour. so loading time 2.22 hours so actual loading time will require 2.22 hours right then we have to calculate the travel time which is known as haul time or travel time this is travel time so how will you calculate travel time 7 km is the distance from a particular area up to our construction site divided by this speed of the vehicle is 30 km per hour so travel time is 0.233 hours so actually the travel time if, by the particular vehicle is 0.223 hours right then we have to uh, uh, damp that material or sand at the particular site so damp so three worker divided by 60 so 0.050 hours for the 
damp of that material at the site then we have to calculate the return time for that particular vehicle so 7 km divided by 40 km per hour the design speed return design speed so 0.175 km is the return time. so total cycle time so cycle time cycle time is equal to this loading time 2 to 2.322 plus 0.233 plus 0 0.050 plus 0 0.175 so this cycle time will be 2.68 hours so generally the cycle time is uh, from loading to empty suppose this is a uh, site from where we can brought the material and this is our actual site b so this is known as ct cycle time how much time we have to take for from loading to unloading of that material so um, this is you can say the cycle time then we have to calculate the production rate right we have to calculate third number production rate so we have to calculate production rate so number of number of trip number of trip per hour so 1 divided by 2.68 is equal to 0.373 so what is this 2.68 is the cycle time so number of trip per hour number of trip is per hour so we can calculate 1 divided by 2.68 uh, uh, so in 1 hour 0.373 trip is there then quantity quantity hauled quantity hauled per trip in one trip how much quantity of material we uh, uh, hauled 10 meter cube is the actual capacity of that truck 0.373 is the number of trip so 3.73 meter cube per hour meter cube per hour then therefore the production rate the production rate the production rate is equal to 3.73 into 45 divided by 60 so this is the actual work done by a particular uh, man in one hour and the quantity hauled per trip is 3.73 so production rate will be 2.80 meter cube per hour so next we have to calculate the time so using one truck and three labor time taken to transport time taken to transport 100 meter cube of sand using one truck using one truck and three labor three labor so how much time we required for this uh, 100 meter cube of sand so this will be 100 divided by 2.80 the production rate is 2 point so 35.7 hours so actual time we require to bring this uh, 100 meter cube of sand is 3.75 kilo then interestingly we have to calculate the cost the last one is we have to calculate the uh, cost right so uh, truck one truck 30 uh, truck we we have to do work for 35.7 uh, hours one truck is there and the hiring cost of that truck for uh, one day uh, one hour is 363.71 rupees 363.71 so the total uh, cost of that uh, truck for 35.7 hours is 1200 uh, 12984.447 so this is the a truck cost for this particular hours 
then driver cost also we have to calculate so the driver is also working in 35.7 hours into one driver is there then uh, per hour charges is 85.71 rupees per hour so the total cost for the driver is also rupees rupees 3059.8 47 then we have to calculate labor cost labor cost so 35.7 hours is the actual work three labor and we have to pay 71.42 uh, rupees per a one labor per hour so this will be rupees 7649.8 so total cost will be addition of this addition of this driver cost and labor cost this will be 23693.376 so this is the total cost we required for a hiring of particular uh, truck driver and labor right so why i am sharing this problem with you see here i am going to download the attendance also yes okay i have downloaded my attendance now why uh, i am sharing this uh, problem with all of you see here the actually we are going to use uh, different types of the construction equipment at the site as a civil engineer our responsibility is that if you want to adopt a modern construction technology so we should know how much total time total cost and cost per unit of transportation of a 100 meter cube of sand at the construction site with the help of that uh, dumper or havers so see here the load time is as per our calculation it will come 2.22 hours right is significantly greater than the travel time and dump time 0.46 hours which is which indicate an imbalance between loading and hauling right so the load time can be reduced by using it a tractor loader instead of labor see here how we can justify this problem how we can justify this problem if you want to bring the sand of 175 ton of sand with a density of 1.75 ton per meter cube and must be transported using 10 meter cube dump truck you know so we comment on this particular problem that is the load time see here as per our calculation the load loading time means if you want to load the material inside the uh, truck or any havers it will take 2.2 hours and if you want to minimize this particular time for unloading of that material into the uh, truck itself or any havers we can reduce that time by using a modern equipment that is known as tractor loader or you can say the clam shell instead of labor so we have to avoid the manual labor at the construction site in case of modern technology so this comment you can say is a uh, good for uh, in the modern construction technology then i am going to share uh, this problem solution of this problem on our uh, Um, that uh, microsoft team also you can download from this that microsoft team then today we will stop here uh, in next uh, lecture we will see the another problems uh, i think we need uh, practice
to solve this particular problem with yourself so uh, this is the time to leave the class so uh, from my side i conclude that we stop here and uh, good day ahead for everyone